What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody, and today is gonna to be a quick video, but I hope to show you a little hack that I discovered for helping get more foam out of your foam cannon when you're washing your car. All right, so here's the deal. That's my old car, uh, and I've actually now uh, given it to my oldest son who turned 15, and so now that is his car. Uh, unfortunately for him, it doesn't fit in the garage with all the other vehicles, so it sits out, and uh, so we're gonna give it a wash today. So I came across this hack uh, on another YouTube channel, a couple of YouTube channels actually, uh, and it made a huge difference, particularly for people like me who are using an electric power washer with their foam cannon rather than a gas power washer. So it really does help, and I wanna show you what I did. All right, so this is your run-of-the-mill foam cannon you can get from Amazon. I'll link to one in the description down below. I happen to have the one that is stickered by uh, chemical guys, but they're really all the same. Different manufacturers, they all make the same basic one. They put their own sticker on it. I've had the generic one, and I've had the brand name one, and quite honestly, I couldn't tell you that there's any difference whatsoever. So save yourself a little bit of money, get the Amazon one, but also use this hack to get the most out of it. So I'm gonna fill up my foam cannon with water and two ounces of Adams Polish's car shampoo. You can use whatever car soap you want, uh, as long as it's really designed for a foam cannon. So most of the higher end ones, you can get them from Chemical Guys, Adams Polish's, uh, Ammo. I'm a fan of all of those. So once I've measured out the soap and the water, I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and then attach it to the pressure washer. Now I've already rinsed down the car with the pressure washer just to get all of the pollen and the gunk off of it. Now we're gonna spray it with the foam cannon. All right, so as you can see, it foams up okay. It's not great, it's still fairly watery. It drips off really well. It's not the worst thing in the world, but we can definitely do better. All right, so to do this hack, all you need is a pair of pliers and this. And this is what I got. It's just basically a smaller diameter nozzle that fits inside of the foam cannon that, uh, that makes it foamier, right? It's a foamier nozzle. I'll link to it in the description down below if you're interested in it. It's like seven bucks on Amazon, and uh, I think it's well worth it if, uh, if you foam cannon your car. So to install this amazing little $7 hack, all you're gonna need is a pair of pliers and a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna basically use the pliers to undo the back of the foam cannon. You're gonna use the screwdriver to remove out the old little nozzle. and you're gonna put the new nozzle back in and then close everything back up. Super simple, anyone can do it, and uh, takes about two minutes. All right, so it's all installed, very simple. Came with this little mesh thing that um, doesn't seem to fit anywhere in here. There was no instructions with it, which was kind of a downside. So I don't really know what this does or where it would go, but from all the hacks I've seen online, this isn't needed just the nozzle. And just to try to make this comparison as simple and as fair as possible, I'm not even changing out the water or the soap. So it's the exact same bottle, nothing's different. It's literally everything's the same. So there's no chance of extra soap or different temperature water or anything like that. It's, uh, it's all just going right back in because I didn't use that much the first time. All right, let's get to work. So it may be hard to see because with the black on the white and the blowing out when uh, the exposure is a hard thing to do on this, I guess is what I'm saying. But anyway, so it's a little hard to see. But what I will say is it's definitely foamier uh, than it was. So that's a bonus. Uh, I will also say that uh, with the Adams polishes, they recommend between two and four ounces to get the foaminess that you're looking for. And I only did the two ounces because that's about all I had left in the soap. So anyway, um, 
but it's a super simple hack and if you add you know the right amount of soap and uh, hot water is another good bonus in there if you use hot water in your bottle that'll help it as well I didn't do that because I wanted the least amount of uh, I wanted it to be hard as possible I guess so but anyway super simple hack uh, it works and uh, I suggest doing it it's like seven bucks in two minutes and uh, and you got foamy your soap on your soap cannon all right guys so if you found this video helpful and you like this tip please give the video a thumbs up because it helps out the channel a lot if you haven't already subscribe because we do a lot of fun things here not just about car washes though you know with the Jeep that's a thing that's gonna have to happen speaking of which Jeep updates coming soon super excited for it oh, I can't wait it's it's so close I hate to keep you guys in suspense but uh, if you're into Jeeps or Jurassic Park, you'll want to stay tuned, so hit the subscribe button. Until next time, God bless, go wash your car, and we'll see you next time. You know, washing your car really builds up your thirst, and you should always finish up a good project or a video with a Dr. Pepper. You, you sponsor me, come on. Like, is it that hard? It's not going to cost you. You're, you're Dr. Pepper. Just do it. Look at me. I'm a walking billboard.